Welcome to AM Reviews. I'm Skybear, and I'm here with my buddy Sal. What's up, Sal? Not much. Before we get into this, keep in mind there will be spoilers up ahead, so watch out for that. You've been warned. Alright, so today we are going to be reviewing a silent voice. And how do we how do we get this how do we watch this movie, Sal? <laughs> Well, we actually, uh, we're going to say thank you to our friends at Eleven Arts because uh, they're the ones who provided the screener. We watched it. It actually came out in theaters nationwide. So for those of you who haven't seen it, you can still catch it. Go to the link below and see where it's playing close to you. And that's how we uh, ended up watching it. Sky Bear is the one who completely didn't know about this movie. And that's what I wanted him to be the person to actually see it. And um, yes, I'd had, I've had no idea about anything. I just, well, Sal just sent me the link. He was like, watch this. I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so what did you give it, Sky Bear? I gave it, I'd, I'd give it like an 8.5 to a 9. I gave it a solid 9 out of 10. Yeah, like, man, this was such a good movie. <laughs> it was. It was. Do you want to tell the people what the movie's about? A little description? IMDb's plot description says a young man is ostracized by his classmates after he bullies a deaf girl to the point where she moves away. Years later, he sets off on a path for redemption. Yeah, I mean, this movie, uh, to me, it was just a heartwarming movie. I mean, at the beginning, you jump right into it. You see how the kid's bullying the girl. You know, you get mad. And then later, he's at a bridge trying to jump off. And, you know, you're, you're saying, good, you deserve it. But then same time it kind of plays it to your emotions you're like yeah you know what he's, he's human he's trying to you know find redemption and you know and he was younger when he was bullying this girl so he kind of didn't like he should have known better but i mean he was a kid so but then when he grows up he's like oh i really screwed up when i was little so i should probably make amends for that yeah i mean it's it's that whole thing that we've seen even us when we're growing up in elementary school we see people getting bullied but some of us don't don't do anything and this movie is kind of telling you hey you know you should step up and and, and like do your something. actions have consequences yeah and the whole thing about this movie is in japan they're you know most of the people there are buddhist and in the buddhist religion karma plays a big influence in your life because it dictates what you believe that you're going to get reincarnated in the next life and whatever you do in this life is going to you know determine what you're going to be reincarnated as that's the underlying story that motivates the kid to go and you know try to get you know forgiveness from everybody that he's wronged uh the other thing also that i want to point out is that there's another story a folk tale that i've heard and one of my friends um from another show that i do she uh told me about is about koi fish the koi fish the same story that it's in pokemon it's a koi fish swims up a stream for thousands of years, fighting the currents to get to the top of the of the waterfall. And once it gets to the top of the waterfall, it transforms into a dragon. This is the, the story that we can see in Pokemon with the Magikarp. He's just an ordinary fish that can't do anything, but he keeps persisting until he transforms into Gyarados, which is a powerful dragon. So the whole thing is... A metaphor of saying don't give up in life keep trying keep trying and at the end once you reach a goal you're going to get transformed either you're going to get repaid or you're going to change or you're going to evolve into something better but just don't give up in life and other fish in the story just gave up and swam back in life you know you'd never want to basically stay in one place you want to keep doing challenging yourself to the point where you're going to get better in something and this is what we saw in the movie. Um, I don't know if everybody saw it, but when I see that they're going to the bridge to feed the fish every single day, it kind of brings it more into like the light and say, hey, there might be something here. So I don't know if you saw that, but I just wanted to touch upon that. Mm -hmm. Also, this movie has an amazing cast. Um, I'm going to name some names, and for people who've seen animes, I'm going to tell you where you've seen them or heard them. First of all, we have Yu Ishikawa, who's Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Uh, Violet Evergarden from the actual anime, Violet Evergarden, whose first episode premiered at Anime Expo this year in 2017. The next voice actress is Megumi Han. She's Akko from Little Witch Academia, or and she's also Gon from Hunter Hunter. 
uh, she saw she also plays Sato in the Garden of the Words by Makoto Shinkai. We, I've I've interviewed her before and I met her. She's an amazing person. She's lovely. She's easy to talk to. And but just knowing that she's been in you know other roles, it's amazing. And so there's there's just a ton of cool people in this movie. <laughs> yeah, and then she also played. Uh, well, she she did that movie you know with uh, Makoto Shinkai. Um, we also have another the main character he was Jinta from uh, Anohana um, he was also in Garden of the Words as Takao and he was Haku from Spirited Away uh, he was also in Miss Hokusai and he was Kagema most of these people are very well known in the industry and for them to come together and be in one movie it's amazing. We also have Saori Hayami. She's a uh, Shiriko from Anohana. This is a basically very predominant series and movie Anohana. For people who know it, it's a it's a movie that's gonna make you cry uh, <laughs> or make you sad. And most of these people have that in common that they've been in that series. Uh, she's uh, Saori was also in Oreimo as Ayase. She was in Sword Art Online as Sachi. She was in Your Lie in April, which is another sad series or that's on Netflix. And she was Emmy in that. All these people have movies or series they've been in that are sad. It's another emotional movie. It's a heartwarming story. Um, I totally recommend this movie for people who haven't seen it. With that said, I mean, what what other thoughts do you have, Sky Bear? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have too much wrong with it, actually. I mean, it kind of gets a little melodramatic towards the end of the movie. But, I mean, if you just look past that, then, yeah, it's it's a really solid film. And did you have any issues with the pacing? No, not really. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, no, I felt like the pacing was, like, very appropriate for the for the story that they were telling. Yeah, I mean, and I, and I actually think that this movie should be shown to... Uh elementary school kids who you know nowadays they suffer more bullying than anybody elementary and middle school kids Hmm. um i believe that if you show this movie to them early they're going to get aware that it's something bad and you have more power than you know just to step up and say hey this is wrong don't do it the whole story was amazing i liked it it's a story that's a little more complex than you know you want to think about it because every time you see it there's something new you see the same thing with the koi fish. I'm going to go back to that. When they go to the bridge, there's five fish and four of them are gray and one of them is colored. And I still believe that the colored fish represents the two main characters and the other gray ones. And those four represents their classmates who don't want to change and they just want to leave, you know, and go to the safe comfort of their house and just stay as they are. They don't want to evolve. So... Yeah, and I mean, all I all I can really like anything else I could really say about this is uh, if you're like trying to find like anime movies, or, or like if you're just getting into anime and you're wondering like what's good to watch, I would say like this is definitely one of the first few movies you should watch, like up there with, you know, uh, Hayao Miyazaki and Makoto Shinkai and Mamoru Hosada. Like just like once you're getting really getting into anime, I would mix it in with those too. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is uh, one up with those categories. I mean, it's an amazing movie. And for it to um, be out in theaters right now, you have a chance to go see it soon. I'm pretty sure they're going to pull it out of the theaters. So if you want to see it, go for it. So that was our review of A Silent Voice. Social media is in the description. And hit us up if you have any questions. And remember, keep watching movies.